What's up guys, this is Matthew, one of the 20 boys on the Dill Chasers YouTube channel. Thanks for listening. We love that you guys are watching. This is a bolo. That means be on the lookout. These are items that we have sold in the past and they do well. And this is one of the many five top picks that we randomly picked, that we liked, that we wanted to share about and tell you the potential in these items. All right, check this out. All right, guys, first we, we sold a, it's a reverse painting. It's a Chinese reverse painting. These things are awesome. I had a Chinese reverse painting on glass Emperor and Baby that sold for uh, close to $200. Uh, it wasn't in the best shape, but it was still really cool. Really cool art. You can tell the style is very neat. Let's see if we can click on this one and see what it shows us. Um, how we do this is we go on to eBay, as you can see eBay right here. And then we do a sold listing. Also, sometimes we do the complete listing. And then I, I picked just the highest. These are not items that we sold personally. These are just items similar to it. Uh, let's see what is for sale now. As you can see, this right here, fine pair antique Chinese reverse painting on glass, uh, circa 1850 court figures. They're selling for 2400 This one right here, selling for ours was similar to this one. They're selling for 500 It was two pieces uh, like this one right here. Terrible pictures, guys. Don't do this. It's awful. Look at these people, man. They just not know how to take pictures. There's a good picture right there. Let's click on that item right there. See, real cool details. You can see the quality. These paintings are amazing. Let's go back. Let's do it one more time. Let's do a sold ass. See, you could potential make good money on this. Keep an eye out for these babies. It's all it's glass, and they paint on the back the glass, and they're framed. Uh, they just look neat, man. Just in general, check these out. There's potential making some money on it. You know, if you're, you could spend 50 bucks on it, but you're still making hundred dollars guys. So keep an eye out for that. All right, next, uh, I can't find the, a similar painting to the one I have. It's very rare. It's a totem pole rocks painting by an artist named Carl Stewart. Um, you let me look at it. You know, a lot of times these, uh, you know, the paintings look really bad up close, but if you get far away, they look good. So always take, pay attention to that as an option. Um, mine was from the seventies. Uh, it was acrylic on artist board. It was uh, a monument in the Valley, Arizona. It was a painting uh, in Arizona, from Arizona. It was like 20, with the frame, it was 27 inches wide and almost 40 inches high. Super real nice. Um, let's see, Charles Stewart Jr. performed medium, uh, was oils, a master of color, geometric design, and symbology. His canvas would represent multiple, multiple layers of storytelling. He also produced... Drawings, watercolors, tiles, wood, stone, and other media works throughout the years. The, path, the artist is n now deceased. Anyways, this is an item similar to what I had that they're trying to sell for over a thousand bucks. Um, real cool uh, detail. The sh it looks very impressionist style. That style is very neat. Um, let's zoom in real quick so you can see it. Uh, also, there's another one right here that was more close. It's kind of like in between these two. Uh, so they're selling it for 98 bucks, um, which is not bad still if you can if you only found it for 10 bucks at a yard sale. Um, like I said, you know, all kinds of there you go. That's looking cool. Like that's kind of more of what mine looked like. Really neat. All right, let's move on, guys. These are things to look out for. Also, Freemason books are very popular, especially the old vintage ones. I had a History of Freemasonry and Masonic Digest 1866 book. Super terrible condition. To be honest with you, a lot of the Freemasons out there, they they have money and they buy these books and they get them off the shelves. They don't like them out there. And pretty much any religion that has a cultish following um, and they have secrets and they want out there, they try to keep these books tight and close to the, the family. Um, knowledge is power. Uh, let's see, mine was History of Freemasonry, the old charge and ancient re regulations as Collated by order of the Grand Lodge of England in 1722, embracing an account of the order from the building of Solomon's Temple and the progress throughout the civilized world. By uh, by JWS Mitchell, MD, sold to subscribers only. <laughs> Fourth edition, volume 2, Griffin Geo, published by the author, 1866, embossed design on the cover. 
published by the author, that's also key. It was about nine to 10 inches uh, high to about six inches wide, maybe three inches thick. It was over 700 pages. Um, it was leather bound, gilt pages. Amazing. You can see that these sets right here, 33rd, man, they're just, people want to know this stuff. You know, they think that there's some secret society out there with secret stuff and they want to know. Hey, why not? If you have the money, they'll spend it. So there's potential there, Freemasonry stuff. Actually, I have a story about Freemasonry stuff. Um, uh, I was at a local pond place, and it was a really rare one was pond. And the guy um, that worked there wouldn't sell it. I wanted to buy it, but it would have been several hundred dollars. Um, uh, he said he just honor. He wants to honor their culture, and he likes it, so it brings people in. So hey, what the hell? Next, St. John, special this vintage collection by Mary Gary Cope. Let's see, where was it? It was very similar to this one right here. In fact, it was this one exactly. Sold for over $200. Um, let me see. Great condition. Has these really cool, like, buttons. Um, I should go in there. I just wish there was more like it. Oh, there we go. Cool. See, these cool buttons are black with, like, a goldish silver tone around them. Super cool. See that? This baby right here, especially if you get on the mannequin, guys. Get on the mannequin with the form. This kind of crappy picture. What the hell? Like, look at that form. It looks ugly. It's not appealing. Get on something with some hips, you know. Pull the back back and pinch it together. Uh, and button it, button it up while you're taking the picture. Let me see if I can find one that was similar. Okay, it was more similar to this one right here, except for it had the buttons. It looks like this might have actually been maybe a custom made. These are items. I can't find it, but... I had one that sold like that, one that sold like that, similar to that one, but it was a cream. I had one that sold like that. They sell really well, guys. Hundreds of bucks. There's money in it. Keep an eye out for these St. John's Vintage uh, Tweed uh, Knit Jackets, especially if they have good condition. All right, last but not least, the famous Dale Tiffany stainless glass table lamps. I had a vintage one that sold for over 100 bucks. Probably could have sold for way more than that, actually. I had a bunch of cr some cracks on the stained glass, maybe like five. Um, we had to I had to ship it in two boxes. So I had to make a note that it, that's how it would have to ship. That would be extra charge. Um, powered on, everything worked. I wanted to keep it. Of course, the wife wouldn't let me. Money is money. Uh, it was similar to this one. Um, let me see. Maybe more between this one and this one. Had a similar body. Um, but these things are popular, guys, if you can find them. You know, for cheap and sell them, you can make 100 bucks on them. Um, they're kind of a nightmare to ship, but... If you pack it right here you go guys I had this stained glass see if they don't have the actual shade but it's vintage had all the information in it it's Tiffany Dale Tiffany inside the brim all right guys so that's it I mean shoot so many good things so many bolo so many things to keep a lookout for be on the lookout for these items and other items that we have coming in the future of course subscribe share and Google Plus we know that you liked it so put a like uh, if you didn't like it we don't care don't like us we don't mind. We're just here to help. We're not getting paid for this. We're not making any money. Um, pennies, 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 if any. I don't think we had. We got one paycheck that was like nothing on YouTube. Um, but we put so much time and effort into this, so we just want to help you guys out. Want to connect? Connect with us. If you want us on your channel, connect with us. If we want, if you want to be on our channel, connect with us. We'll do like a green room thing that like those guys do. Uh, not trying to steal their idea, but whose ideas are new anyways? They're all been around the block. Nothing's new in the sun. Of course. You guys are awesome. Up here in this corner, right here, there's a little sloth dude. Like and subscribe, please. You're awesome. Of course, thanks for watching. Matthew and Micah on the Deal Chasers YouTube channel. Peace!